Alright, yo, 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 we're here on Trash Talk. Merupakan satu pemain yang masuk list seleksi untuk Two timnas. Two point and one. And one. I'm here with the legendary Aki Panula. I didn't see LeVar Ball on this on his channel, Isaiah Thomas, Donovan Mitchell. What? Now little old me? I'm just happy to be here, man. That's a good opening, right? <laughs> yeah, what's up, bro? What's, what's up, up Jared? This is Jaron Crum. If anybody wondering, this is my guy. Welcome to the show. Man, thank you for having me. So how you been? I've been good, I've been good. So last time, uh, last season in the IBL, you played for Satya Wachana. Mm -hmm. So how was the experience? Um, the experience, I'm definitely glad I had it. I wouldn't change it, you know? You need all the experiences. They're all part of a plan. But um, yeah, I'm happy the experience was over. <laughs> yeah. Why is that? Man, first, you know, of course, you know, it's bigger than winning and losing. We didn't win many games, of course, last year. But that wasn't the biggest thing. I just didn't like how, um, like, you know, I moved, I played, you know, high school, NCAA, yes. professional first, then professional again. And I didn't really feel like professional to me, you know, it's a smaller club. So we didn't have, like, the stuff you needed, like trainers for, like, eyes and, the gym, oh my god, the gym wasn't up to quality to play. I'm not a complainer. If you got somewhere to play, put in the work. But and then my players, uh, what's the thing? They're all kinda young. Yes. So their focus wasn't there. They were mainly focused on other things, which which I understand. But it's hard to practice if everybody ain't coming to practice and stuff. So people were looking at us like, hey, you need to win. But we weren't prepared or, you know, equipped right to win. So hopefully they will fix things though. In yeah, yeah, China, you know? yeah. I wish so them nothing but the best. Yeah, so they could get better. So you got a lot of fans in Indonesia. <laughs> they were disappointed actually because you're not getting drafted in the IBL this season. So are you disappointed that you didn't get drafted during draft night? <laughs> um, actually, I was actually live streaming. I think I called you that night. We yeah, talked that I night. Yeah, we talked that night. Yeah. But yeah, I was actually live streaming the draft and I was watching. At first, initially, I was disappointed because I thought that it was because of my skills mm -hmm. or my hard work why I didn't get drafted. So I was disappointed initially. But then I figured out it was like some other stuff they had going on that prevented me from getting drafted. It wasn't because of my skills and my talent. Mm -hmm. So then I was okay. It worked out for the best, man. This year was one of the, yeah, I think the best year of my life, man. I started Academy in Makasa and got engaged to my beautiful fiance. That's congratulations, man, getting man, engaged. Thank you. Thank we'll you. talk about the Academy first. Yeah. So, how long has been this Academy going on for? Mm, since the first of the year, so since like January. Mm -hmm. So now, only, yeah, barely new, about how, two or three months. How did you get into this Academy thing? Um, it's always been a dream of mine. Okay. Like, I always wanted, after I retire from playing, I want to start Academy. God just blessed it to happen okay. sooner. I played in the Flying World Cup with CLS like two years ago. Okay. And I met an awesome owner there, my guy Peter. And we just changed numbers and kept in contact. Then when I was back in USA, he approached me with the idea. Yeah, yeah man. And we it went from there. History from there. History from there, man. And then what is your main goal with the Flying Wheel Academy? Um, my main goal, man. Some people train in and do academy and stuff like that just for money, man. That's that's not even what I'm like worried about. My main goal is for the kids, man. I want to really see them develop. Like kind of here in Indonesia, the powerhouses are the big, like Jakarta, Surabaya. Yes. So I want to help like where I'm at now, Makassar, get to that level where they can get some DBL All Stars. You know, you know, the sky's the limit, man. Get, get some scholarships, go to NCAA, anything, man. I want to help really different level of training there and help them go to the next level. Give me goosebumps, man, saying that, because I'm all about that, too. You man, know? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm about, I, man. Yeah, I'm, I want, like, the younger players now to develop mm -hmm. and, you know, have a bigger goal. You never yeah, know, yeah. you know, if you practice, work hard, you could be in the NCAA. You can be in the NCAA. Yeah. Hey, hey, we can get the first one in the NBA. NBA. Yeah, yeah, like, you yeah, know, yeah, that's what I'm saying. And we can get a gold medal here for the country. Yeah. Like, this one says bigger. Like, I would feel better. Like, that would feel better to me than winning, like, a championship idea or anything. Like, that I helped the kid train to get his passion up, and he brought the country, like, gold medal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. big yeah. goals, man. That's really, that's really good. <laughs> but any big plans, though, for the academy, for the future? Mm -hmm. um, one, in May, I'm working on hosting, like, a big, all-star game man okay. i don't think nobody ever did that like an all-star game for the academy like so the kids can feel like cool like, yo we got we made it to the all-star game like the best kids from the academy okay. give them some to work towards for i tell them right now we're gonna have all-star games they're putting in work and we're gonna have invite stars have like a dunk contest three-point shootout like a whole all-star weekend for the academy 
Yeah. That would be dope, man. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Just don't forget to invite me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I invite you. I see you shooting a three. <laughs> You're going to be doing it all, man. I'm going to invite you to play, slash, take photos, video, all, yeah, all in one. <laughs> I, I, I'm first of all, man. Right. I can do everything. Yeah, man. everything. So, can you feel, uh, if you in Makassar, can you uh, tell everybody how can people sign up for your academy? All right, if you're in Makassar, go to Flying Wheel Basketball on Instagram or go to the gym, Flying Wheel Arena. You'll see the flyers and stuff around. And just ask, you know, to register, to sign up for, you know, individual training or follow the academy schedule. Let's go. And then you're getting married with an Indonesian girl. Uh, uh, are you gonna be? This is the big question. Are you gonna be an Indonesian citizen? Ah oh, man, yeah, the wedding is coming up, man. Can't believe it myself, man. It's gonna be a great time. I have a beautiful fiance. She plays basketball and lives in Makassar as well. And yeah, man, the wedding's like. May, so like two months ago. So we'll get that finished first and then we'll see what's next. <laughs> so you have no plan here for that? For your I'm, not, I'm not saying yes, I'm not saying no. Not okay. counting it, not so, counting it out. I'm not counting it out. No, no. Okay, that's good. If, if, if it's a win win for both, like it's a win for good situation for me and for Indonesia, yeah, definitely I would do it. Yeah, I love it here, man. It's a great place. But for now, you're going to live in Indonesia. Yeah. yeah. Um, mm -hmm. That's a big decision because we all know uh, you're from the States. Mm -hmm. So you must be like having a big passion for Indonesian basketball, you want to help them. But what is your hope though for Indonesian basketball? Mm, my hope is just to see it get to a country where it's respected in basketball. I mean, most people, you know, don't even know how they play. Like some people told me that when I played professional, like, oh, they play basketball in Indonesia? You know what I mean? I want it to be like a respected yeah. country for basketball, like have some players that are really notable in the team like you know just known for that man that's my goal like and that's been a coach if I don't be the coach to like help the players maybe I can help the coach to help them you know we need to you just change the culture of basketball around here man that's good though but do you have any plan of going back playing professional if you have the time no, 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 definitely, man. I'm definitely still a professional basketball player. I tell myself that, like, I'm a professional basketball player and a professional skills trainer. Definitely both, man. This year, I played in a lot of tournaments, and, yeah, I played a lot of basketball. But as far as the league, yeah, waiting on if the right contract, right team situation, yeah, yeah, definitely. Talk, you know, I got to talk to the fiance first now. <laughs> <laughs> everything has to go yeah, through her now. Everything got to go through for me now first. So yeah. I think we're both going to look over the contract and everything. Yeah. And if it's good, yeah, I'm going to go with it, man. So I'm not counting out any leads, man. Everybody's asking me about, hey, ABL, IBL, Thailand, this, this. Yeah, I'm not counting any lead out. I want to know, though, if you still have your hops. Oh, my <laughs> God, is it a goal in here? <laughs> it's not a goal in here, man. All right, I got to... <laughs> yeah, we gotta post the. Uh, yeah, I gotta start posting some more videos, man. Actually, my hops have gotten better. Got it better. Yeah, man. I got some more chicks in the bag now. Got better, man. I won the dunk contest this year, actually, in Malaysia. And I've been doing this new thing. Like, I've been training every day, of course. Like now, when I get like super tired after a workout, when I'm so tired, I always force myself now just like 30 minutes straight of like just tricks and just trying out dunks. So it's actually even helped wow. me get my. Yeah, it's, it, I'd be really tired, my legs after practice and stuff. But it's actually increasing my vertical, man. It's been crazy. So I got some stuff coming. <laughs> Try to get some viral um, Instagram dunks for you guys coming up soon. Now you gotta send it to me though, the tape. Yeah, so I can put, put it on YouTube. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I gotta send it you, man. It's kind of how it all started here, bro. I posted. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, after one practice, you no. Know, when I first got here two years ago with CLS, I posted like a dunk video. Yeah, this went viral, bro. I think it was like uh, I never had a video with that many views since. <laughs> yeah, and they kind of people find out about me then, and they got to see my whole game and my personality. I've been waiting for that video. <laughs> gotta gotta come up with the chicks, man. But right, thank you though. That's all for the interview. No problem, man. Appreciate thank it, you. man. Yes, Good sir. to see you always. See you always too, man. Hopefully, I can visit Makassar in one day yes, and go to the academy. Yes, sir. I'll have you soon. And all the fans, make sure you like, follow, subscribe. Instagram, <laughs> YouTube, and check out all the episodes of Trash Talk. I know I check them out as well. Appreciate that, man. Sure. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget, like what he said, and comment this video if you miss Jaron playing. <laughs> but um, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next episode.